Now that we're on the cusp of launching both Events Calendar Pro 2.0 and the Events Calendar 2.0, I want to put together a screencast for you guys walking through the process of how to download, install, and activate both versions, as that process has changed a bit since the 1.x releases. You'll notice I'm here on the Modern Tribe website. Remember that since we're no longer selling Events Calendar Pro at Code Canyon, this is where you're going to have to come if you'd like to buy the paid version. You can also get the free version here. I'm going to go into this product dropdown, and you're going to see that I have Events Calendar, which is the free open source version, Events Calendar Pro, which is the paid pro version, a few of our other products, and our support page. Let's get the free version first. I'm going to click Events Calendar. It'll take me to this page, and then I'm going to hit this download link, which will take me over to the WordPress.org plugin directory. If 2.0 were live yet, this would say download version 2.0 instead of download version 165. And when I clicked it, it would download the plugin as a zip file to my desktop, like so. Once that's done, I'm all set on the free version. So let's go back to the Modern Tribe website and get Pro. I can do so by either clicking Go Pro here, or going up to the Products dropdown again and hitting Events Calendar Pro. They're both going to take me to the same place, which is this screen where I need to choose my license. I only need to install this on one site, so a personal license is fine. I'm going to hit the Buy Now option, and I'm going to go through the standard checkout process, as is to be expected. Once that checkout's done, I'll see a screen like this, where it'll give me my order number, the rest of my order details, and the ability to download the plugin right here. And if I click Events Calendar Pro, it'll do just that. You'll see that now when I go to my desktop, I'll have both the Events Calendar 2.0 and Events Calendar Pro 2.0. So we're set. We have both versions of the plugin. Now we just need to turn them on after installing them. So let's go over to the dashboard of our site. I'm going to go from my dashboard into my plugins page. And for my plugins page, I'm going to hit Add New. Click the Upload tab. Follow the instructions noted here which means do not unzip the plugins you just downloaded. And we're going to start with the events calendar. It'll go through the motions. It'll give me the option to activate the plugin from right here or to just return to the plugins list. I'm not going to activate it quite yet. I'm going to go back to the plugins list and I'm going to do the same thing again, this time with the pro version. Hit install now. It'll go through the regular steps. And now I'll go back to my plugins page. Now you'll notice I have Events Calendar Pro 133 here as well. I don't have to delete it. I just need to make sure that it is not active before I try to install the others. It's also important to note that I can run the Events Calendar without Events Calendar Pro active, but I cannot run Events Calendar Pro without the Events Calendar active, since Events Calendar Pro is technically an add-on. You'll see if I attempt to activate it, it gives me a message saying to begin using Events Calendar Pro, please activate the Events Calendar 2.0. Over in my sidebar, there's no events items yet because there is no events plugin active. The Pro add-on is just here to serve as an extension of free. So if I want to use it, I of course will need to activate free. Once that's done, I see I have all my events listings in the sidebar. You'll know Pro is active because the saved venues and organizers still appear. If I deactivate Pro, you'll notice those go away, as do the rest of the Pro options under the Settings page and on the Event Creations page, but I can still use the stripped-down free version without Events Calendar Pro active. To get all the Pro functionality, just remember, you do need to activate both versions. I'll put together some other screencasts walking through the other aspects that come with installing both versions, but in terms of the bare basics, this is what you would have to do. You could do the exact same thing via an FTP client. I use Cyberduck, but there's very many options out there. Upload both versions, activate the Events Calendar, then activate Events Calendar Pro, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.